Alrighty, how is it going everybody? Well, today we're going to open up this box, this uh, True Steel Premium Collection. Uh, I noticed it when I was in Target, and I mean, I saw six packs for 30 bucks, and you know, you also get the pin of course, and you get the little statue thing, so I thought uh, might as well, and just see what it's all about. So let's crack into it. I want to keep the box somewhat clean. Nice. All right. Um, I guess uh, let's start with the zombies at a card first. Um, you can see the way it's packaged in. It's just like a bit slanted, so we have to figure out how to get it out. patterns on it but I don't really like hollows that much so I'm probably not going to be using it too much. Alright, as for this, this statue is absolutely beautiful. The details are pretty nice, it has like a bit of a nice weight. I really like this. Definitely going to be keeping my eye on that and using it. Finally, the pin. card um i don't really care if somebody wants to take it they can there it is um, yeah so let's see what cards we got all right we got six packs darkness of blaze team up evolutions another darkness of blaze a sun and moon and then a sword and shield base uh, I think I'm going to go with Evolutions first because, I don't know, I don't really think that this pack is that interesting, personally. I think the only two cards in it that I even consider liking, just like most people, are the uh, two Charizards, the Far, and of course the Seekerer. not sure if um, this is there's an energy on it so I guess we'll just kind of see maintenance Caterpie Ghastly Diglett Tata Charmander Diglett Reverse and just a non hollow you two you know nothing really unexpected when it comes to these packs so I'm not really too upset um, obviously seeing a Charizard in like one of these collections would be absolutely amazing. Damn, Pack is giving me trouble here, folks. Sorry about that. Oh, code card. Right here. Three to the front, like usual. The trio. Tender Lady. Cloud plus Wulu. Sobble. Ooh, something. I see a little something, something. Pinkurin. Flip Bug. Santa Cobra. Oof. And a Wobbuffet V. Wobbuffet V. This card is okay at best. I mean, it's not too good. Uh, I guess I'll put a sleeve on it because it is a V, but meh. Next, Burning Shadows. Good card. Get front. Take one off the back. Here you go. Any more? Look at this policy. Opex, Sneasel, Venpy, Gas, Cappy. Reverse Pikachu and a Beware. Alright, 
Third to last pack, Darkest Ablaze. Code card. Parasol, Carnivon, Mime, Torchic, Aram, Ishiwashi, Pansafe. Is that, is that a reverse? There's like no fucking hollow on that. Ooh, there you go, something. Uh, uh, hollow Hoopa. Not an awful card, but not good. Second last pack, team up. It's kind of a nice artwork. I, I like that card a lot. I like Pokemon. Voltorb, Squirrel, Bronzorb. Hot Mimikyu. And a non hollow pie sharp. Whew! Alrighty, last pack. Hmm. I wonder what it will be. Darkness of Blaze, so most recent. What did I get us? Got us these three cards: a Hoopa, Hollow, the Zamazeta that's bent and kind of bad, and then the Wobbuffet V. Um, personally, I don't think that was really worth it. Definitely fun to open the cards, but you know we get these two things as well: the pin and then the little um, figure. So I'm not too upset. But yeah, guys, um, let me know if you want me to open anything else. Uh, Pokemon cards or anything else like that. Um, but yeah, thank you and have a good day.